Hi guys! Welcome sa Sip9. In this video ay itutuloy natin yung series natin on uh, factorial notation. No? So, um, sa previous videos, pinag-aaralan natin that n factorial no? uh, for a positive integer n is equal to n no? times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Uh, all the way up, all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. No? Ah, ibig sabihin, pag may meron tayong 4 factorial, ibig sabihin, this is 4 times ano ang 4 minus 1? This is 3. Hanggang pababa na siya ng pababa, papunta sa 1. So, yun naman ibig sabihin niya. At pinag-aralan din natin that uh, pag sinabi natin 5 uh, factorial, pwede natin siya isulat as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. No? And since ito 4 factorial siya, or factorial, so pwede natin isulat yung 5 factorial as 5 times 4 factorial. Okay? Or ito naman, uh, this is 3 factorial, so pwede na natin isulat yung 5 factorial as um, 5 times 4, no? and then times 3 factorial. Okay? So yan yung mga importanteng uh, concepts na kailangan natin malaman para masagot natin itong mga uh, examples o yung mga practice exercises natin dito. Okay, let's have the first practice exercise. Uh, kung sinusundan nyo itong series na ito, hindi ito mahirap no? kasi dinisess ko na yung mga concepts and I had several examples in the, in the previous videos. Pero kung first time nyo panoorin ito, maganda balikan nyo yung mga uh, videos dito sa series. No? Okay, so 6 times 5 for number 1. So, meron tayong 6 times 5, pero gusto natin may factorial notation. No? At paano natin yan magagawa? Magagawa natin yan by multiplying by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. No? Kasi magiging 6 factorial na to, no? Pero ang original value natin is just 6 times 5. So, uh, dapat matanggal to, no? yung, ba, yung apat na to. And since this is multiplication, tinatanggal natin yan by uh, the inverse operation, yung division, di ba? So, magiging uh, 4. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, pag nilagyan natin ng 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, makakancel yung mga, makakancel yung 4, makakancel yung 3, makakancel yung 2, makakancel yung 1. Ang matitira na lang is 6 times 5 times Yung mga quotient lahat nito, 1, di ba? So, 6 times 5 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. So, bali 6 times 5 lang talaga, which is our original given. Hindi na bago yung value niya. Pero this time, it can be written using factorial notation. So, this is 6 factorial, di ba? Over 4 factorial. Okay. Uh, however, yung sa example natin kanina dito, yung, four, yung ito, pwede natin siya isulat as 4 factorial over 4 factorial. So, kung ayaw niya na mag-multiply ng ganito, pwede yung, uh, yung representation is uh, 6 times 5 times. Ito yung kailangan natin. So, yung mga susunod, pwede na natin ilagay na 4 factorial instead of uh, expanding. And kung ano yung nilagay natin dito, syempre ilalagay rin natin sa baba para makancel, di ba? So, this is equal to 6 times 5, which is equal to 30. So, this is 6 times 5. Okay? Now, for number 2, very uh, similar idea, very similar uh, exercise. So, we have 11 times so, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to, and then, uh, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. Oh, 11, sorry, wala yung 10. 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. Para magkaroon tayo ng factorial, dapat aabot siya ng 1. So, pwede tayo mag times ng 7 times... Uh, 6 times 5 times uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or simply 7 factorial no? para may exceed lang 
Pag naglalaro tayo ng 7 factorial dito, maglalaro yun tayo sa baba para ma maka-cancel natin siya. No? So meaning, this is this is the product of 11 all the way down to 1. Product of uh, integers, positive integers. So this is 11 factorial over, yun nasa baba natin, 7 factorial. Kasi kailangan meron tayong uh, factorial. So yung sagot pala natin dito kanina, this is 6 factorial over 4 factorial. Tapos ito, this is 11 factorial over 7 factorial. And what about this one, number 3? So number 3, we have... One over seven. Ganun din, di ba? Seven, seven times six times five. So this is equal to one. Para magkaroon ng factorial, tutuloy natin siya. Seven times six times five. And then times, times four times three times two times one dito. Okay, yeah, pwede natin sabihin na four factorial. Kung may four factorial ka sa iba ba, dapat meron pa rin dito para makancel siya, no? So, 1 times 4 factorial is simply 4 factorial. So, this is equal to 4 factorial. Over 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is 7 factorial. Okay, so this is equal to 4 factorial over 7 factorial. Yung number 4 medyo mahirap siya ng konti, but uh, it's not that hard, no? Think about it. So, if you want, pwede nyo muna i-post yung video tapos sagutan nyo. Tignan natin mamaya after nyo i-post kung uh, okay na yung inyong sagot. Okay? I'll give you time to post. 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1. Okay? So, sana na-post nyo yung video and uh, sa pagsagot nito, we have uh, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay so this is equal to gusto natin may factorial to no? yung nasa taas at yung nasa baba wala lang tayong problema kasi may factorial to this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 this is equal to 4 factorial diba? so pwede na ba natin siya isulat na 4 factorial Yes, no? Kasi ang kailangan natin in factorial form. So, kung may factorial na tayo, okay rin siya, di ba? Naisulat na natin. But yung uh, uh, numerator natin, we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 tapos 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, this is times 6 factorial, di ba? Para magkaroon tayo ng factorial. But again, remember, yeah, na nandito is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. Na. So, para matanggal ito, yung hindi natin mabago yung original na given, dapat may 6 factorial tayo sa baba. Okay? So, ang mangyari dyan is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all the way down to 1, which means na meron na tayong 10 factorial. And then, sa baba, meron tayong 4 factorial and 6 factorial. So, meaning, nabaguhin pa ba natin to? Ah, hindi na, no? Kasi nasa factorial form na siya. Kasi na, nakalagay naman express in factorial form. So, okay na tayo dito. So, this is equal to 10 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 factorial. Okay? So, yan yung uh, some examples on how to um, work with uh, factorial notation. So, titignan natin kung magkaroon pa tayo ng, ng isa pang example siguro, isa pang video na different topic naman. So, abang-abangan nyo lang. Maraming salamat. Uh, bago ako mag-end, gusto ko yung invite sa YouTube channel natin, youtube.com slash user slash page and facebook.com slash sitlionph at syempre yung sitlion.com. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.